Last year's team was an incredible team. Just a group of guys, they've known each other forever. Everyone understood each other. Everyone was willing to fight for each other. People that are motivated, willing to go the extra mile for each other. That guy named Jesse Mendez. I think everybody knew how special that was. You know, it's something that's kind of intangible when you had a group together that long and then they got something on the line. You know, then just coming into high school and then you're a senior and, you know, we're all seniors now, you know what I mean? Let's go do this. But uh, I think that's what really set us apart last year was just that depth and uh, the relationships those boys have. I think what he brought uh, was a certain energy that, that the team needed and then, uh, you know, helped us build over the last four years a certain culture that's needed to, uh, to win a state title. It was, it was like a shot to the heart. Something kind of clicked right in that moment. I changed a lot of things after that. I kind of started to think about what I didn't do in uh, preparation for that match, and everything that I could think of, I just started doing. I started working harder, changed my attitude, and it kind of uh, ended up just being my main source of motivation. I mean, since that, my lock screen on my phone is still a picture from right after I lost with uh, Hawk and Sessa, and it hasn't changed since then. So it's really just a big source of motivation. Yeah, it was a cool experience, but it was kind of left a very bad taste in my mouth. I feel like I could have definitely, I underperformed compared to what I wanted to do. So I'm ready to change that and get rid of that bad taste in my mouth, make it a good one. That was a really uh, heartbreaking match for me. I really, truly went into that tournament and truly believing that I was a champion in that bracket. And, you know, nobody put the time in like me for that. And, you know, it taught me that sometimes you can do all the right things and stuff won't still go your way. It, it made me really, really hungry from this for this year. And, you know, all that's going through my head right now is how, how much the, this week has been in my mind for a full year. You know, ever since every day, I've, I've thought about that match I lost last year, every single last day, and it's really gone into me working really hard. I'm super excited because I know I've done all the right things, so the confidence for me is through the roof right now. We want to win another state title, but most of all, just to make this a great experience, you know. I mean, I think we're in a, uh, a time frame here at Crown Point where, I mean, it's exceptional. You, you don't really run into these situations. Uh, some people never do, you know, and we're back here again. And, uh, you know, really just hoping that, you know, we could, we could repeat like we did last year. I think we're all really self-motivated people who know they need to get the most out of every single day. And we know it's not that far away, so we have a limited number of days to get the most out of each other as possible. And I think that that keeps us motivated and like, like we just know it's a short time until we get what we want. So we're willing to put as much work in as possible and, and, and re as well as resting and mentally focusing on ourselves and, and believing in ourselves. Wrestling's obviously not a selfish sport when it comes into this room. I mean, us seniors, me, Orlando, Sammy, Cody, we're obviously trying to be state champs, but we're also taking the freshmen, the sophomore, the juniors with us to be state champions also, to break that record of last year and having six, seven state champs rather than three. They're well trained, they're mentally prepared. Uh, our job right now is just to keep them focused, to help them avoid any distractions that come their way. Uh, everyone might be a little bit tighter than we were last year, 
more friendly, but we all still, we, when we get in the room, we work hard, very competitive too. A lot of newer guys, younger guys, but I think we merge with them well. We've been wrestling with all of them since we were little kids, whether that's Bulldog Premier, RWA, and we grew up with these kids, so I feel like, I mean, our older guys are still really close just from all those years, and these younger guys are getting merged right in. got a hold of me and I got a hold of Coach Sessa and we decided, hey, we're going to do this. Uh, and when we decided to do that, we knew that we had to build that culture, all right? Um, and we knew that we needed to tighten, we wanted to tighten some things up and take a different approach. We wanted to see how hard we could get our schedule. Uh, so our guys, when we get to the state tournament, are battle tested. Bottom line, we want to be able to walk into to Indianapolis state weekend and ready to go and say we've already battled against the best guys, not in our state, but in, in the country. That's why we went that way. So, you, so now we're in the Ironman. Ironman's considered one of the toughest individual tournaments in the country. It's crazy. I mean, it's hell on wheels to say the least. I think it puts it in perspective when you're wrestling guys that are nationally ranked and you come back and you're wrestling guys that are state ranked it's not as daunting you know i mean most of these kids they wrestle people and you know you might get an opportunity to wrestle a couple state ranked guys throughout the year and for most people they're they're shaking in their boots they're not almost uh, wrestling up to their character you don't really know what to expect sometimes especially first time around freshmen guys that are breaking the lineup you know even though they might be better uh, they kind of lose to the name, lose to the singlet, whatever it may be. And uh, when you start wrestling nationally ranked guys, you kind of downplay some of the guys that are ranked in the state because you've already seen better dudes, you know? So it's, it's easy to go out and wrestle the number one guy in the state when you just wrestled maybe the number one guy in the country. It was like my first match as a dog, so I was pretty excited. And I just kind of went in there with like kind of a chip on my shoulder just because like, like it kind of sucked like watching everybody else wrestle for the first few duels. So I kind of just went in there with like a chip on my shoulder and I got to the semis the first day and beat a ranked kid. So it was a, a good way to start the season. A lot kind of went down I, at the start of the season. I'm kind of, I was in a spot where I had to like stay at the same weight from last year. And so like at, at the start, I was like really stubborn. Didn't want to like, like I almost quit wrestling because of it. I didn't want to really want to wrestle anymore. I was thinking about just being JV. And then like, I don't know. I feel like like that's another thing that the teammates were so like good with. They were like, like you're going to regret this if you don't do it. So. Just, just trust us. And so, it's working out now. I feel great, and it's good. I, I it's, it's, this guy, this guy <laughs> gives me <laughs> Those great patches. They bad? Yeah, they're yeah. bad. Yeah, this one right here. 
<laughs> that one's, I think that one's grown since yesterday. <laughs> I remember the first year we had that tournament and we, we didn't quite have a full field, you know, teams and um, weight classes. We had guys getting buys or forfeits to the finals. And after the tournament, we just sat down and talked about if this is something that we're gonna, we're gonna stay in, that uh, we're gonna make it the toughest tournament as possible. All right. Hey guys, this is why we set this tournament. This is why we do what we do every year. This is why we set these tournaments up to get you prepared for the for the show at the end of the year. Get out there and take advantage of it. That's all I got. Go out there and take advantage. Of it. it it wasn't easy because I mean we had to we had to sell them on like who we were. Once we told them who was coming and if you guys commit and you know they'll commit. And there's a lot of you know going back and forth and you know selling selling your program and selling what, selling your event because they want the same thing we want, the toughest competition they can find. Let's go! There's no way it's, it's not doing the right thing. And um, we just made it our mission to make this like the mini Ironman, the toughest tournament, you know, outside of the Ironman and I think that we're moving in that direction. We're probably two teams away from uh, putting us against anybody in the country as far as a one day 16 man tournament. If we can get two more teams, uh, it'll lock up probably the toughest tournament, maybe in the nation. From the first month we start competition with wrestling, you not know, one, two, three, four guys in the country, and that prepares us to then later in the season we're wrestling guys from like Indiana, but like they're not just they're still tough guys, but not as tough as guys from Carnahan, Iron Man, so it just prepares us a lot more for those matches. We have our hardest match of the year pretty early in the season. If not, I mean, if anything, we get the hardest match of the year before the postseason starts. So we're very tested. You know, once we go into the state series, we've already wrestled our hardest match. We've been through the hardest part of the year. It's just kind of, it's almost like a cool down once we get to that end of the year. I got injured earlier in the season and wasn't able to wrestle and it it threw the balance of my life off completely. People that are close to me will know. But wrestling, it, it keeps my mind stable. It keeps me who I am. It's, it's everything for me. support one another, all right? I have no doubt in my mind what's gonna happen at the end of this summer. You know how many people would die for these opportunities? <coughs> Take advantage of it. Support your team. If you're not out there wrestling, support that person out there, all right? If you are not up next, support that guy out there wrestling, all right? We need everybody involved. We need every coach involved and every wrestler involved and every fan we got here involved, and uh, I think we're gonna be okay. I knew me being the first match, I had to go out there and I had to do something that was going to make everyone get excited and wake everyone up to really get into the, get in the whole duel as a team.
This year, we were the one being, with the target on our back, being chased down. Last year, we were chasing Brownsburg down. We hadn't won anything yet. Now this year, they're trying to chase us down, so we're trying to hold the lead, maintain the lead. We knew if we came together, that uh, we, we could handle business, and that's what we did. I mean, it's, at the end of the day, our guys uh, all showed up. And we let our horses run with, you know, with Ball and with Frazier and with Going and with Goodwin. I mean, uh, once we get to that part of our lineup, it's really hard to compete with those those guys. And we just had to get to that part and let those guys solidify it is, is what it really came down to. We want to build a culture of confidence and a lo you know we want love of wrestling. Some guys have loved it their whole life. Some some of our freshmen or sophomores they're coming out um, brand new to the sport and they're falling in love with it. Um, and that's what we want. We want the we want uh, some passion there for the sport. You know we want the guys to to love what they're doing and I think we're we're getting there. Push those guys three periods. Push those guys three periods. We punch them, they don't punch us. Got it? Nope. All right? Uh, and I don't mean that literally, Cody. Right? <laughs> There's a lot of Indiana people that want Indiana to win. Rep your state. Today, rep your state, your community. It's not just about Crown Point. I'm telling you, there's a lot of Indiana people here that want Indiana to win. Crown Point, whether, whether people know it or not or want it, it's a wrestling town. They love wrestling. You know, and I think that's a large part to the show we've put on. You could see it from uh, the first time that we wrestled under the lights to now, I mean, all the little kids that are uh, sitting on the edge of the mat, you, you could almost read their mind in regards to like, I can't wait till I could get this opportunity to wrestle under the lights, or I can't wait till I could wrestle, you know, like one of these guys on the wall. You know, these little guys, they know, uh, they know our varsity guys. You know, they're like big brothers to them. You know, they want to emulate them. And um, it's just amazing because you never think starting off that, uh, just by doing the right things and being consistent that you can, you know, you can instill that into, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds and um, eventually you're coaching them in a high school room. You know, uh, it's just amazing. I think it gives us a big advantage. You know, I always tell the wrestlers, or I tell the, bo the boys, uh, you're at home, you've wrestled on this mat all season, you know the environment, we're not waking up early. Um, so there's a lot of thought that goes into that, you know. Um, so it's a lot of work to host the sectional and regionals for myself, my coaching staff, our administration. Um, but I think every, everyone understands how important it is. And that adds to our culture. You know, our fans, they get to go watch the sectional. The kids get to watch the sectional in the regional. So, I think our program, our parents, our youth kids, our, uh, I call it Bulldog Nation, they get to follow us on that journey and then they're like, yeah, I'm going down to Indianapolis. I've been watching it the whole time. I, I, for me personally, I really like it. it. It makes me more comfortable, you know. I really benefit from it. I think the rest of the team does too.
you know, we're comfortable here. Um, it's our house. Um, so at the end of the day, we don't, we don't necessarily look at, uh, look at as we got to travel, get up earlier. Um, the only time we really have to do that in the postseason is the semi-state and the state tournament. That's it. So, I mean, we really do benefit from that. Right when it happened, everyone was kind of just, everyone was a little upset, but we were pretty quick to realize like, hey, we have 13 guys now, that those 13 guys, that's our team. What's done is done, and now we gotta focus on taking these 13 guys to the bank. We addressed it as any other problem we could address. Um, I, I kind of talk about like just facing, facing uh, problems, not avoiding it, not ignoring it. Like, hey, this happened, we're gonna face it, and, and we're gonna move on. And I think the guys came together. Uh, they realized they needed to make up some points. Um, you know, 152 was a good weight class for us. We scored a lot of points. But uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, wrestlers are, you're not guaranteeing anything. So, you know, we just kept moving forward. We talked to them and we said, hey, listen, we're still, the goal is still the same. We're still uh, chasing, uh, chasing that title. Um, and uh, we're, our, our plans are still to bring it home. All right, and we have the horses to do it. Uh, would have been nice to have, obviously, uh, Tony at the end there. Heck yeah. I mean, he's, a, he's an excellent wrestler. I think he's ranked in the country, ranked two in the state. Uh, who wants to lose somebody like that? Nobody. But the, resilient, the resiliency that this team shows is amazing. And I think it's the whiskers, um, the experience, and maybe the leadership they had prior to this year um, has helped out tremendously. I find with these guys here, um, and not just with this team here, but last year's team and the, and the years past, it, it kind of brings us together. It kind of, you know, hey, listen, we're down a guy or, you know, our back is against a wall and, and now is the time to really turn it up and fight harder and, and let's persevere. Let's show people that, you know, it's just not one guy, it's just not one situation. That, I mean, we're, we're in it for the long haul is what it comes down to. There, there's a journey, there's a pathway and each week you take the next step. And now we're at that final step. And um, I think our team's prepared. Um, mentally, uh, they understand what they need to do. Physically, they're in great shape. Um, so it, it's, now it's time to go enjoy, uh, it's time for them to enjoy the fruits of their labor. The beautiful thing about our team is we're gonna walk in there and we've had the Iron Man. We've had the Carnahan. We've had Team State. We've had uh, Mount Carmel in our gym with 1,500 people. We've had pressured situations, all right? So at the end of the day, uh, you know, we talked about draws. Um, you know, the way we look at it without trying to sound arrogant, and that's not what we're trying to be. We're not trying to be overconfident or arrogant, but we tell our guys, a bad draw is when they draw us. What's up Bulldog fans? We're at Semi-State. We have how many in the finals? Uh, 11, oh, I think 11, no 10. 10, 10, 10, 10 in the, the finals. finals, well how many did we have last year? Eight or nine. Eight or, eight, anyway, Sonny is turning up right now. He's doing great, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, Had he's on fire right now. On, he's on fire. But next week at State, we're gonna turn up and have seven, eight dogs in the finals. So that's what we do. Dogs! Let's go! This is a special time. This is a special time for Crown Point Wrestling. This is a special time for them. This is a special time for their family. Um, this is a special time for this community and, and for this area. I mean, uh, you know, we're, we're a, a, I feel like we're a pretty distinguished team. You know, we have a lot of separation uh, with a lot of teams in the past. And um, whether we get to this point again next year, year after, um, I hope they could reflect back and know that this is a, a very special time in their life. 
and I hope that they, they can really embrace this because uh, I know for myself, uh, for the rest of the staff, that um, I don't ever know if, if we could duplicate this moment in time. I mean, you know, we may win a, a team state title, you know, next year we may, you know, win everything just like we have, you know, that this year and last year, but um, I don't know if we'll ever have a nucleus like this again. You know, these guys have been wrestling together since, uh, you know, seven, eight years old, and just to have that type of bond with each other is very rare. You know, that, that, it's hard. As a senior, there's only one way you want to walk out of that gym, and that's with the state title. Um, I hope they, they leave Indy that weekend satisfied because they've all had an incredible career. Um, they've all done great things. I mean, if I was to make a list of their accomplishments, it would take me three, four pages. Um, just an incred incredible group of kids, um, parents and support system. Uh, I'm super proud of all of them. Uh, I'm looking forward to... Uh, giving them a big hug when they're done because I'm so proud of them. I'm so thankful for the commitment to our wrestling program. Yeah, it went by quick. Uh, I mean, it means a lot. It's crazy being on a team of this caliber, but you, just like yesterday, it felt like I was a freshman wrestling JV behind Sam Gowen and coming, I mean, this coaching staff is, and team together has helped me make crazy strides of just becoming the person and the wrestler I am today so I'm just grateful for it. We came in here eighth grade like summer wrestling with like the bigger guys and we're like looking up me Orlando saying like looking up like wow like we're gonna be here someday and like freshman year came and sophomore year came then junior year came now we're already our senior year it just went by like that but it means it's something you can't even put into words about how close the team is pretty cool really cool feeling. It was a great experience coming in. We all started as a young group together and went through high school together and we all pretty much the backbone to starting this and getting it big again. I've known all these kids forever and so it was like a great culture that I wanted to be part of. And uh, I just thought I saw it as a good opportunity to get better and have fun with all the people I've been enjoying this great sport with since I was little. These past four years of Crown Point have been an, ama an amazing journey. These coaches, I came in, they, they believed in me. They've helped me grow so much these past four years from just like a little freshman to, you know, being ranked in the country, committing to a Big Ten school. And this is, you know, everything I've ever wanted to accomplish, you know, thanks to them and, and this team that constantly pushes me every single day. I'll be forever grateful being here. And it's kind of sad knowing that these are going to be my last week here. But this makes me want to give back to my team even more by wrestling as hard as I, as I possibly can this weekend. Um, you know, I've, it's been such an amazing time here. I feel like I've waited forever to get into high school and, and wrestle here. And then now that I've got here, just in the blink of an eye, you know, it's like, it's like almost gone. It's crazy, but you know, it's just, you know, a part of my life I'm never gonna forget and something I'll cherish. And I'm really trying to soak in these last few moments, last few days with this team. And you know, what a way to go would be a state title. The goal from, from day one this year was to repeat. And uh, there's some pressure that, come, that goes along with that with the kids. When we walked into the arena this year, it was, it was different. The only thing that, that was the same is we, we kind of were familiar with the scene. It's a great learning experience for our team because we had some tough draws and we overcame some obstacles. Um, I want to say 106, uh, Logan Haney came out with a big win on Friday night when you're a four going in the state series and you got to wrestle a semi-state champ. That's not easy. And, Logan was up for the challenge. Obviously some of the lows were, you know, losing some of those matches. You know, our freshmen uh, didn't have as much success down there that I know that they would have wanted. Um, but, um, I mean, uh, other than that, you know, I thought that everybody wrestled as, as best of, the, of their ability. We lost two the first day. Uh, we went from 11 to nine, similar to what we did last year's last year too. But you know, then it came down to we had a. a I would say we wouldn't have we didn't have a perfect second day.
Almost every place we go, it's a crazy environment, especially when, when it doesn't go our way. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter if it's a slip and a fall. You know, we slip, fall, get out of position, have people score on us, come close to, to knocking us off. Uh, the crowd goes crazy. Uh, and those are things that you can't really account for or take into consideration when you're preparing. How's your kid gonna react? Um, you know, how's the team gonna react when one guy goes down? We got to a certain po point in that tournament where we knew we needed to have a, we needed to regroup, all right? Because people were either going to go one or two ways, all right? We had some upsets, we, and, and we knew that we needed to take care of that mentally, that to get our guys back in the right mindset, team. Because when you're in an individual tournament, a lot happens when, if you win or lose a match, okay? It could take you one or two directions mentally. So we regrouped, we had a team meeting, and. Um, you know, we, we basically called out those guys in the concies and said, hey, listen, you do your job. Our guys in the finals have no pressure. Be... Logan Haney went out there, bam, hit seventh place. Not only did he get seventh, he gets a fall. Gavin Gendrus got over it. I'm sure he's not over it. But he got over it that day, came back, finished fifth. Logan Frazier, heartbreaker for that kid. Obviously, things just didn't work out for him that day. But he came back, he fought hard, he did exactly what he needed to do for that team. Logan Frazier, your winner. Anthony Ball, I mean, he's got a heart of a lion. I mean, he came back, uh, wasn't feeling the best, uh, came back, took third. Good. On that number two. Paul Clark. Rough semifinal match, and then he ends up taking third. So we did our job. All our guys in the cons, he's won. Five guys. It's a uh, testament to our, our wrestlers' attitudes that everyone went into that last match and, and fought for a win, even when it was hard. We had some wrestlers that were going through some hard times in um, dealing with some things, and they, they, they wrestled through it. We had explained that if they all do their jobs, it would make things a lot easier in the finals. Uh, for those other guys. Everybody wrestled up to their best ability and uh, that's the expectation. You go out there and wrestle to the best of your ability, if, um, you know, let the chips fall where they're gonna land. And uh, I think that every one of them boys gave their best effort and uh, did what was in their capable, you know, their, their ability to be able to, to put themselves in a situation to get their hand raised. And, uh, you know, sometimes you need a little luck. If you ask me to summarize the, the tournament, it's pretty simple. We got it done. It's always hard to win one. It's always hard to win one. But to do it twice is, a, is a, I think, a huge achievement. Even though not all of our wrestlers got everything they wanted, you know, the team got what they wanted, and I, I think that's, that's the point. Terrific season.
167 points, the former champs of the champs once more. Congratulations, Crown Point High School. Next year, uh, we're going to be back to, to square one in regards to discovering how we're going to win, how we're going to get this done. But, I mean, I'm up to the challenge. I know these guys are up to the challenge to carry this on. Um, and I, I honestly think that if anybody underestimates us, they would be making a mistake. Will we win it? Will we three-peat? I don't know. We're gonna, we're, that's that's going to be the mission. That's going to be the mission.